Hey there, here's Jan from Jovo and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets as a content management system for your Alexa skills and Google Actions built with Jovo. And so the CMS integrations interface that uh, we launched with version two of the Jovo framework is one of our favorite features about this new version because it makes it very easy for you to plug into different content management systems and um, make it easier for you and your team to update content regularly without having to redeploy your code all the time. And so this um, is very great for, uh, for example, voice apps that um, want to work with fresh content all the time or for larger teams where uh, people that update the content don't really have access to the code for example and so there's uh, a lot of new possibilities and our first integration is google sheets we ourselves learned how easy it can be to just connect your alexa skills and your google actions uh, to a google sheet and uh, manage all the content there and so with our new uh, integration for google sheets we make that whole setup process as easy as possible and I'm going to walk you through this step by step. So first, um, we were going to create a new Jovo project of version two, and I'm going to show you how it looks like. And then uh, we're going to prepare a new spreadsheet and then connect the spreadsheet to uh, the Jovo code. And we're going to do this in, in just a few steps. And so let's do this. Uh, to create a new Jovo project, go to your terminal, use Jovo new, and then give it give your project a name. So we can do Google Sheets. For example, or let's let's call it Sheets Demo, and so this will then use um, the the Hello World template in version two. So if you haven't installed the new Jovo CLI version two, uh, I'm gonna paste the link in here um, so that to, for you to make sure to um, first upgrade to the newest version uh, because this will then use the version two template as well. And so um, after that, go to your new directory. And let's open it up in a in an editor. So go to Visual Studio Code or whichever um, editor you prefer. And here you can see this is what a typical Jovo project looks like. And so there's a source folder. This is where all your app logic happens. This is the stuff that's later hosted on the server or maybe AWS Lambda, for example. And so if we go to the app.js, this is really where the logic happens. So we have a launch intent, we have a hello world intent, and the my name is intent. And so this um, voice app really only asks you for your name and then greets you with your name after you responded. And so there's only three strings here um, that we need to um, outsource to the Google spreadsheet. And we're gonna do this now. And so instead of having um, the strings right in, in there, we were gonna have those in the Google spreadsheet. And so the Google Sheets CMS integration documentation um, already offers a sample spreadsheet here and all the steps you need to do. And so let's take a look at the sample spreadsheet. And we can even use um, this spreadsheet here. So it has a um, responses tab. So this is one sheet, we call it those sheets, and um, with uh, two columns, a key column that we're later gonna use to access exactly this, um, this, um, this key uh, in, in this row. And then we have a, a locale. So we could even, like we can have EN here, we could add DE, DE here for German, FR, FR for French, and so on. So we use EN instead of EMUS, for example, to, uh, to manage all the English locales here for now. And so to use this uh, spreadsheet as a starting point, we can just click on File and then on Make a Copy. So Jovo CMS Hello World. So we can give it a name. I'm gonna save it to My Drive. And there we go. So this is now my spreadsheet and now I can make updates as, as much as I want. So let's just get rid of that. We don't need this and, um, and update it. And so let's first just use the strings here. So I'm just going to copy it in there. I'm going to copy this in here. and then copy this in here. Okay, cool. And so this is how it could look like. Um, so there's a few things that we need to change. So first we need to give it some keys. And so we're usually we're trying to give it a keys in a way that um, shows really where, where it's coming from. So here we're, we're gonna give it the key welcome dot 
um, speech and we can here for the reprompt we can use welcome dot reprompt and here we're going to do creating dot speech for example okay so um this is um one thing and so and then in the in the code uh, we will later be able to access uh, those types of input so this is the one thing to update um to to prepare the spreadsheet and uh, one more step we need to do is to make the spreadsheet public and so uh, because we are using a public spreadsheet for now uh, we could also use a private spreadsheet uh, which is a little more complicated to set up um, the jovo integration supports both so it's pretty easy to just get started with a public spreadsheet and then afterwards convert it into a private spreadsheet when you feel like it and so uh, to publish it you first need to go here to publish to the web and then create publish uh, click on publish and so this is public now. There's one more thing that's important um, that sometimes gets missed. So if you're part of an organization, for example, it might be that it's just public for your organization first. So if you click on the share button, um, you can see and click on get shareable link. You can see that right now only people from our company, Linked Experiences Inc. can, can view it. And so I need to click on more and then click on the second option here anyone with the link can view so that's important that really anyone with the link can view it and so if we now copy this link and you can also see it up here and you can see that this middle part here this is really the idea of our spreadsheet so let's let's copy that for now okay so this is it the spreadsheet is prepared so let's install the um the new integration that comes with jovo version 2 and so um, if we go to configuration here, you can find all the steps that you need to take. And so um, let's, let's do this. So first we need to install the NPM package. And so let's go back to our terminal and install it. Okay, so that's installed. And now we need to um, to use it in our app.js file. So we'll go to our app.js, require it here, and then uh, register it with the Jovo app by adding it to the new command here. So we can create a new object of the Google Sheets CMS, and then that's it. And so now Jovo knows that it should use the Google Sheets CMS integration. And so um, there's one more thing, we need to add a few more configurations. So the spreadsheet ID, for example, which sheets we're using and so on. And we can, do, and we can add those to the config.js file. And so the config.js file has some other information. It's like some logging information, the intent map and which database you're using. And we're also, we can also add CMS configurations here. So again, we can use the Google Sheets CMS element here and then add all necessary information and you can find the information in the docs as well so we're going to go to public spreadsheets here and you can find there's the spreadsheet id there's the access type that's defined and so on let's just copy that and paste it in here okay so access is public spreadsheet id we need to update so let's go back to our spreadsheet again and copy that part from the URL. So this is our spreadsheet ID and then the sheet name and type. And so we only have one, one sheet here and it's the responses sheet. The position is one because we only have one. And so the position is only relevant for public spreadsheets because that's um, a different way how to access them. And so for private, for private spreadsheets, you don't need that. And the sheet type is responses. And we have uh, several types of default um, sheet types. So we have a, just very, um, a default sheet type, which returns an array of arrays. Uh, we have a responses sheet type, with, which then stores it into our i18n notation, this dot t. And then we have key value, where you can just access all the rows with, um, with providing a key. And so, um, and you can also define your own sheet types, and we'll do this in a later tutorial. But let's just use the responses sheet type for now. Already added that, and so and this shows that we can access the, the the information by using this dot t, and then 
a key. And so if we go back to our app.js file, instead of using this here, we would be able to access it with this dot t. And then what was it? Welcome dot speech. Cool. Same with the reprompt. So here would be welcome dot reprompt. And with the my name is intent, it's a little more, um, a little more, let's say, difficult um, because we have an additional parameter that we would like to, uh, to add. So how it's written here is um, is wrong, and so we we would need to remove that. And um, you can learn more about our i18n integration and how the notation is done and so on. You can learn more in our docs and output and then i18n. So you can find all of that here and it also shows you that if you want to use a parameter you can you need these double curly brackets and also you can um, you can pass the variable by adding it to an object as a second parameter into the t function and so let's just do this now we we're just going to call this name double bracket name nice to meet you Okay, so that's it here. And so let's do this here. Um, this dot t creating dot speech, and then a second parameter name, and then we're going to use the input. one okay and so that should be it so this is how you can access the content from a spreadsheet and so let's try it out so we have our spreadsheet prepared it is public um, we, we are accessing con the content with a t notation and we have the configuration ready and so let's try it out if it still works if it throws an error usually it does <laughs> let's run Jovo run Okay, so this seems to work. So here's our webhook URL. So if I copy that into the browser, it opens the Jovo debugger. So if I now open the launch request, for example, it says, hello world, what's your name? As you can see here, I made a small mistake. So I forgot to remove that escaping backward slash. And so I can just update the content um, here. So I can just remove that here. Maybe do some other updates like hello there, for example, here. I forgot something here as well. And so let's, um, let's try it again. So I need to start the server again, go back to the Jovo debugger, click on launch again, and it says, hello there, what's your name? Nice, and let's just, my name is Jeff. Hey Jeff, nice to meet you. So everything worked. And so this is how you can update content easily in the Google spreadsheet. See how easy it was? I just um, went into the spreadsheet, made some updates and it worked right away. And so um, this is um, what, what we think is extremely helpful when you're working with larger teams, when you're working with content managers, um, product managers and so on and to give them more access to the content. And so this is our first integration. We're working on more and we can't wait to learn more how you're using it, how you're using different sheet types and so on. And um, we'd love to learn more what CMS um, integrations you would, you would like to see next in the framework. Thanks a lot. See you soon.